we're living in such an exciting time because people all over the world now have a device in their pocket that they can be in continual communication with their healthcare team. That's, that's the first time in the history of our planet. And incorporating that into self-management uh, is just a great opportunity to advance uh, support for behavior change. Just thinking about these digital programs, all patients and all people obviously are not the same. Hmm. So when you're building these programs, you have to think about how will we sort of put these patients in different categories? And then when you do that, you have to be thinking about how will your intervention uh, work in a tailored or more personalized way with each of these patients, right? And then as the patients are moving through your program, like from day one to day 30, hopefully their behavior is changing. So I do feel like we're gonna, I, you know, I'm just very excited about where things are headed from this digital perspective. What we've seen in digital health is the hardest thing is always to get people to do it the first time, uh, whether it's people or doctors, um, because it's, it's just very new. It's not how we used to interact in healthcare. And But if you do it once, you quickly realize that you can get quality care online, you, that some apps are really useful, and it can create long-lasting habits. And I think the first thing we, we're trying to do, and let's go where people are, teach them where they are. They're not in your pharmaceutical company website. They're not on a patient association website most of the time. They are on Facebook, they are on Instagram, they are on Google, and that's where we need to engage them. One of the things we now are doing is a virtual consultation. So it's very rare for us now to see patients face to face at the moment. So how do we use remote digital communication forms to try and get the same message across as well? When Whenever a patient has a journey or an interaction with a healthcare professional, we mustn't use digital to replace that conversation. I think it's important that we use digital to enhance the quality of that conversation. How do we do that, you may ask? And one of the things I would love to know my patient is that maybe I don't want to spend 30 minutes trying to extract this information when actually the patient is much more willing to give it to some chatbot and that information is uploaded and that information is then available to the clinicians so they can get off to the right degree of quality consultation.